Hold up. Yo, what is going on guys? It is FoxyDude98 here. Welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta gameplay video for you guys today here on my channel. Today we are back on the map Evac uh, with the Razorback and we're playing Kill Confirmed. We changed up a bit. So we pick up the first kill here. We nearly get killed though and uh, I decided to change it to Kill Confirmed just because I can get more points in Kill Confirmed with denying get kill deny tags um, or getting enemy tags and also getting kills. I thought it'd be useful. Uh, so I decided to uh, do it and we went on a very very big streak in this gameplay uh, Which is why I wanted to show it to you guys But if you guys are unaware already the Xbox beta for black for black ops 3 So on the Xbox one the uh, the beta is free for everyone to download and play So it should be on the Xbox store I think it should be on then right now You can just click onto the full game and then uh, download beta or somehow like that and you guys will be able to play it. So if you didn't guys if you guys didn't win a code from my giveaway that I did be sure to go over to the Xbox store now, pick up yourself a beta code and play it because it is absolutely amazing, Black Ops 3. I can't wait for it to be released. I haven't pre-ordered the game yet, but I'm definitely going to pre-order the game just after the beta because it's really, really good to do. It's really, really fun to play and I'm enjoying it. So we pick up the first um, streak in this gameplay, getting the UAV, picking off a couple more people. Now on the Razorback, I'm using about five attachments or something like that because in this game, you can have up to six attachments, I think it is. Something crazy like that. It's all it's it's just crazy. So I'm using suppressor, quick draw, grip, and rapid fire on my razorback. So suppressor, quick draw, grip, rapid fire. So four attachments actually um, on my gun. Uh, just because I felt like it, I was just I decided to put loads of attachments on it and see if it made any difference. So I'm not using any lethals or tacticals in this game. I am just using my Razorback and hopefully we can get onto what well, we do get onto an absolutely awesome streak and we're going to go through it. So we pick up our Hellstorm missile. Now the streaks I'm using is UAV, Hellstorm and the Raps. The Raps are basically a set of explosive rolling balls. We pick up a nice double kill here. We turn around and we so nearly about to get killed. I back out of there. I knew I wasn't going to win the gunfight so I decided to back out and get myself health. Now the Raps are like some rolling spike balls that sneak up on enemies and when they get close to the enemies they explode and blow them up. So it's pretty funny. So we pick up another assist here, and I'm getting really weak right now. I'm getting really close to the wraps. I think this may have been the first time. No, it wasn't the first time I put the wraps on. Um, because uh, how I change this, we get a beautiful slide kill here. And we confirm the tags here from uh, Charlie, who was uh, picking up a great kill there. And I stole his tags. Got the wraps in, and we are very much good to go. You can see the dropship there. And we use a Hellstorm pickup. Just done just one kill, which was kind of annoying, but there you go. And we get another kill. Good hit fire from there. Um... But there's a couple of tips I wanted to give you guys on how to play the Black Ops 3 beta. Because there's a couple of people that will know how to play the beta. There's a couple of people though that are struggling to learn the game. And that is, don't rush around the map all the time. Because if you keep running around the map trying to find people, you're going to get killed easily. Because the people that are at, if you're going around to try and find people, they're going to be in a better position than you are in the gunfight. Because they're already in that area and they're probably trying to lock down that area that they're in. So I recommend that if you're in that specific situation that you try and sort of um, de defend a specific area of the map. Don't just camp in a corner. Like defend say the back area, like the back left of the map or the back right or even the middle of the map. Just defend the whole middle of it. Because if you try and lock down areas, we're 15 in there right now. Uh, this is a kill streak um, by the way guys. Because this is a 20 plus kill streak, not a gun streak. Um, I thought I'd point that out first because... Obviously, I'm using the wraps in the Hellstorm. So, just to be full clear that up, it's a 20 plus kill streak that I do go on in this gameplay, not a gun streak. So, bear that in mind. So, uh, yeah, don't get as excited as you would. I'm trying my hardest to get some absolutely awesome gameplays. I've got loads of them. I've got loads of wraps recently, which is absolutely awesome. I've got really high kill streaks as well. And um, one thing that um, actually made me become get better gameplays is putting on high score streaks because. Every time, I would always have UAV, Care Package, and Hellstorm Missile. And I said, you know what, screw it, I'm going to put the wraps on for a game. And the first game that I did, I played to get the wraps, and I just got it straight away. The first time I did it, and then ever since then, I've just been putting on really, really high score streaks and just going in on a tear with them. So, if you're looking for a way to try and um, play the game and try and be better at the game, um, I recommend just putting on high score streaks because... If you want to, if you want to um, try and do well in games, at least you know you're trying to earn those score streaks. You're trying to earn the score streaks. You're trying to play to get those score streaks and make sure that you can uh, just tear stuff. So it, it sort of changed my play style, putting on high score streaks because as, as soon as I since as soon as I put on the wraps, now I literally have put on the wraps. I've tried the GR unit. It's like a, a big ass robot. I've got a good gameplay with that, which you'll see coming very soon on my channel. 
I've got loads of gameplays of things, but also I want to thank you so much for the support as well that you bring on these Black Ops 3 videos. It's absolutely amazing to see that you guys still support the videos and um, you guys still like to watch these beta gameplays because I love producing them and I love playing this game. So we're getting close to our second wraps and this guy here is just literally one hit, but I, felt, I knew that I was on a high gun streak, not high gun streak, sorry, high kill streak. And I kind of wanted to keep that going, so I thought, stuff it, I'm going to keep it going. Unfortunately, though, we died there. We finally ended our gun streak. We went on a 22 kill streak, which was really, really fun to go on because evac is not my favorite map at all. Um, I wouldn't say it's in, I don't know what it is. Like, it's a, it's a decent, it's a map that you can get good streaks on. But it's sort, it's sort, it feels a bit similar to Drone off Black Ops 2, the, uh, the jungle map. Uh, obviously, because this is like a jungle map type as well. And uh, that's kind of what I felt of it. And I didn't, I just didn't really like the map load. So I was happy to go on a 22 kill streak. That was awesome. And now it's sort of about just trying to finish this off, trying to get any more streaks if we can. And uh, just sort of finishing off the game. I saw some guys shooting through the door. I managed to pick him off easily here. And then getting up our UAV again. And um, that's why, I, that's why I wanted to do this gameplay because. I love to kill, because kill confirmed, I don't know what it is. Uh, for me, kill confirmed, when I see tags, I run for them. And I just feel like I get more points. It's like 150 points if you get the kill and the confirm. A lot quicker to get your score streaks. And you can get a lot more kills. Because sometimes a lot of people, they don't go for tags. They just try and kill people. So uh, it's quite cool that you can get good score streaks. And I've been playing kill confirmed literally ever since. And uh, I've got loads of kill confirmed gameplays for you guys. But um, we're coming towards near the end of the game. Oh, excuse me, Jesus Christ, how unprofessional. Uh, we're coming towards the end of the gameplay now. Uh, we're 67 points in. We just need a couple more confirms. We pick up another kill here with the revenge. Unfortunately, we did die for a second time due to a HCXD, which is the same as an RCXD. And we finally get our um, specialist. I changed the specialist out to Vision Pulse, which uh, detects all enemies on your map uh, from a specific ranges and distances. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what uh, specialist you guys like to use. I'd like to see what you guys use. And also what specialist you think should be removed from the game as we unfortunately pick up another death there. Um, because one of the specialists I mostly have an issue with is Rejack. It's the specialist where if you die, you can use it and you can revive yourself. And it puts a cloud of smoke over you so that you can't see um, where anyone else... where you can't, So your enemies can't see where you are. Uh, that's the specialist I think should be removed, but what specialist do you guys rock with? And um, if there's any challenges or stuff you want me to do on this game, let me know because obviously I'm happy to do loads of challenges for Black Ops 3 and try and get good gameplays for it. But, gameplays for it. But, we got 73 points now, we just need two more confirms. Here. We pick up the reverse kill here in the 74 points now, and are we going to get the final one? Nope, we don't get the final one, but... The confirmed tag is there. So that's going to be the end of the gameplay. We finished 28 and 3. We went on a 22 kill streak. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. Subscribe for some more Black Ops 3 content here on my channel. And uh, yeah, that's been the end of the gameplay. It was a fun game to play in. Uh, we went 28 and 3 to finish off the game there. We picked up the final kill after um, all that happened. As you can see, we finished second in the little top scorer section. Um, which is absolutely awesome. But uh, yeah, I've got plenty more gameplays with other score streaks such as the Raps and the GI units coming. Stay tuned for that. Until then, guys, I'll see you in another video. Take care. Adios.